We're going to take you straight to Washington, where Merrick Garland is now speaking. Special Let's listen. Counsel. Pursuant to Department of Justice regulations governing such matters. In keeping with those regulations, I have today notified the designated members of each House of Congress of the appointment. I'm joined today by John Lausch, the U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Illinois, who conducted the initial investigation into the matter that I will describe today. On the evening of November 4th, 2022, the National Archives Office of Inspector General contacted a prosecutor at the Department of Justice. It informed him that the White House had notified the archives that documents bearing classification markings were identified at the office of the Penn Biden Center for Diplomacy and Global Engagement located in Washington, D.C. That office was not authorized for storage of classified documents. The prosecutor was also advised that those documents had been secured in an archives facility. On November 9th, the FBI commenced an assessment consistent with standard protocols to understand whether classified information had been mishandled in violation of federal law. On November 14th, pursuant to Section 600.2B of the Special Counsel Regulations, I assigned U.S. Attorney Lausch to conduct an initial investigation to inform my decision whether to appoint a special counsel. Mr. Lausch has served as the U.S. Attorney in Chicago since 2017. Before that, he spent more than a decade as an assistant U.S. Attorney in that same office. I selected him to conduct the initial investigation because I was confident his experience would ensure that it would be done professionally and expeditiously. On December 20th, President Biden's personal counsel informed Mr. Lausch that additional documents bearing classification markings were identified in the garage of the president's private residence in Wilmington, Delaware. President Biden's counsel informed Mr. Lausch that those documents were among other records from the period of the president's service as vice president. The FBI went to the location and secured those documents. On January 5, 2023, Mr. Lausch briefed me on the results of his initial investigation and advised me that further investigation by a special counsel was warranted. Based on Mr. Lausch's initial investigation, I concluded that, under the special counsel regulations, it was in the public interest to appoint a special counsel. In the days since, while Mr. Lausch continued the investigation, the department identified Mr. Herr for appointment as special counsel. This morning, President Biden's personal counsel called Mr. Lausch and stated that an additional document bearing classification markings was identified at the president's personal residence in Wilmington, Delaware. When I first contacted Mr. Lausch about this matter, he said he could lead the initial investigation but would be unable to accept any longer-term assignment because he would be leaving the department in early 2023 for the private sector. U.S. Attorney Lausch and his team of prosecutors and agents have conducted this initial investigation with professionalism and speed. I am grateful to them. Earlier today, I, I signed an order appointing Robert Herr a special counsel for the matter I've just described. The document authorizes him to investigate whether any person or entity violated the law in connection with this matter. The special counsel will not be subject to the day-to-day -day supervision of any official of the department, but he must comply with the regulations, procedures, and policies of the department. Mr. Herr has a long and distinguished career as a prosecutor. In 2003, he joined the department's criminal division, where he worked on counterterrorism, corporate fraud, and appellate matters. From 2007 until 2014, Mr. Herr served as an assistant U.S. attorney for the District of Maryland, where he prosecuted matters ranging from violent crime to financial fraud. In 2017, Mr. Herr rejoined the department as the principal associate deputy attorney general. In 2018, he was nominated and confirmed to serve as a U.S. Attorney for the District of Maryland. As U.S. Attorney, he supervised some of the Department's more important national security, public corruption, and other high-profile matters. I will ensure that Mr. Herr receives all the resources he needs to conduct his work. As I have said before, I strongly believe that the normal processes of this Department can handle all investigations with integrity. 
But under the regulations, the extraordinary circumstances here require the appointment of a special counsel for this matter. This appointment underscores for the public the department's commitment to both independence and accountability in particularly sensitive matters and to making decisions indisputably guided only by the facts and the law. I am confident that Mr. Herr will carry out his responsibility in an even-handed and urgent manner and in accordance with the highest traditions of this department. Thank you all. Have you ever spoken to the president about this investigation, sir? And there we just heard from the attorney general. Yet another special prosecutor has been announced and appointed in regards to classified documents found in yet another now current president's residence. I want to bring in our panel. Uh, let's go to Andrew McCabe first. And Andy, you know the special counsel Robert Herr. Uh, he was appointed by former President Trump. It doesn't appear that that was a coincidence as to why the attorney general appointed him. He also went through a list of dates in terms of the sequence of events and when the DOJ was notified about this batch of documents. The initial batch uh, was found November 4th and November 14th. Uh, he appointed John Lausch and December 20th. Now they were informed that an additional batch of documents were found. Tell us what you make of what we just heard from the attorney general, specifically with regards to Robert Herr being named a special prosecutor. Well, I, I think the selection of Rob Herr is a logical and sound one. Um, as you can see from the, the brief resume that the attorney general laid out, uh, Mr. Herr is a, essentially was a career Department of Justice uh, prosecutor and attorney. Both he served as a, an assistant U.S. attorney in the District of Maryland, which is, of course, located in uh, Baltimore, uh, and then spent some time significantly at working at DOJ Maine in the DOJ headquarters. I worked with Rob when he was appointed as the principal assistant deputy attorney general in 2017. Always found him to be well-informed, industrious, hardworking guy. And as you mentioned, Brianna, I think it's uh, not uh, uh, insignificant that he was an appointment from the Trump administration, served in the Trump administration as a very, very high level official in the Department of Justice. So it, that goes to maybe disarming some of the political criticisms uh, that might come from the right as a result of uh, whatever results come of this investigation. And John Miller, I want to bring you in. John Lausch was the U.S. attorney in Illinois who was first tapped to investigate one and then the second batch of classified documents that were found. We heard from the attorney general that he was briefed on January 5th by John Lausch that he would support further investigation and the appointment of a special prosecutor. What do you make of this in terms of where this investigation stands? Well, I think the discussion that we've all been having, you know, over the last couple of days is what is the difference in scope and scale between the Trump documents at Mar-a-Lago, which involved, you know, possible obstruction and attempts to hide them and denials that they exist, and a case where the president's lawyers were going through spaces looking for files and found them and immediately reported it. But the special counsel regulations say... Um, does the matter merit investigation, which clearly this did, which is why it was referred to the U.S. Attorney in Chicago, but also are there extraordinary circumstances? And I think it was the judgment of the Attorney General at this point that rather than doing backflips and tortured explanations about, you know, uh, it not warning a special counsel, that the single extraordinary circumstance was it involved the sitting president. Yeah. And those two things came together. The choice of the special prosecutor in Rob Herr um, is a particularly uh, well thought out one in that you have a person who served in the Department of Justice under Democratic administrations at a very high level as the principal associate deputy attorney general during the Trump administration, who then uh, really made a name for himself as U.S. attorney in Maryland, prosecuting the former mayor of Baltimore, the former police commissioner of Baltimore, delegates and a state senator, um, a lot of Democrats on corruption matters, but most importantly, if you're going to pinpoint this case, he did two very significant investigations into the NSA, two employees, both of whom uh, carried large amounts of classified documents out of the NSA. One of them stored them in his home, in his car. Um, another had massive information uh, electronically. So he is very adept at how to navigate 
the care, handling, proper handling of classified information, and where the lines are between a crime.